I've recently been contacted by Resi1, the manufacturer of my favorite resins, asking me if I wanted to test the new anti-impact resin due out in December this year. I've seen a few videos in which they demonstrated the properties, especially its use for engineering parts and action figures, since it's supposed to be wear resistant and without dusting or powdering. What better print to test this with than our most popular printable action figure, the Hawk. I printed several tests with different settings, with the one I'm showing working the best, with a layer exposure setting of 3.5 seconds and post curing at 80 degrees Celsius for one hour. So here we are with the results of the test print. The prints came out super nice. The surface quality is absolutely ace as always with all Resi1 resins. Came out really nice. Now I'm gonna get the parts out of the runners and then we see how they assemble. Parts have all been removed from the runners and cleaned off the rest of the supports. Let's assemble them, see how this resin does. Okay, that's nice. Oops. Not like there's any rubbing off or dusting. It's a bit harder to see with this resin since it's more translucent than the M58, which I usually use. It looks like it's working very well for this purpose. Doesn't seem to rub off. Oh wow, this is really nice. Nice snap. Yeah, snaps in. Yeah. Let's see the knee joint. This is usually a problem, a lot of people having problem with other resins assembling this knee joint, uh, often appearance uh, snapping of the hinges or cracking rather. Wow. That's a perfect snap. Awesome. Fits very well. The foot. Okay, this is a really nice resin. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see, but there is no, no dusting with the parts. This looks nice. Okay, let's quickly continue with the rest. The material has a bit of flexibility, which is super handy, especially with the snap fit design for these figures. The ball joints, the cavities, they need a bit of a bit of room. They have to have a bit of a give so that the ball can snap right in. But this works really, really well. Nice, and the most important part for me, always, with the action figures is, has the resin any sort of powdering, any sort of dusting, material rubbing off on the surface? And if not, then that's a sign of quality. And this is actually really, really nice. Can't see any sort of dusting. Helmet visor, also a critical thing like for something on this scale, everything is very small, so the resin needs to be sturdy for these small hinges and still has to have a little bit of flexibility for everything to go together nicely. And this works really well. This is nice. 
fits really well. It's awesome. So I've been testing this before with other material settings. First test was a layer exposure of 4.5 seconds, which I usually recommend for the M58 resin, which I normally use for my prototyping. But that was a little bit too much. I had too much bleeding, which resulted in the joints not fitting correctly. Then I tried another print with a 2.5 seconds layer exposure, which is the one I use for the Max with M58. But that was a little bit too loose. And now it's just the center 3.5 seconds layer exposure for this print and it works pretty well. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. So this is the third print, third test and uh, works out perfectly. I like it. Very good resin. Thanks very much to Resi1 for providing me a sample of this resin. And yeah, they will release it in December. And if you want to test it, especially for action figures, I can definitely recommend it. Give it a try. Thanks again to Resi1. And happy printing. Bye.